Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for Notebooks.com and I'm back today with another Mac video tutorial. Today's topic is how to set up parental controls in Mac OS Sierra. Parental controls are predominantly designed for parents as it's in the name and it's for them to be able to set up parameters for their child's user account on the computer. Now you can also set this up for the guest account which we'll show you later but this is predominantly for parents and kids that use the computer. You want to make sure that you have a standard user set up for your child or the person using this account and you can do so by going to system preferences, users and groups, and then as the administrator authenticate to create a new account or click on one that already is there and make sure you enable parental controls at the bottom of that tab. From there, you'll have a button to open the parental controls pane in system preferences, and this is where you'll be able to set up all the parameters for your child's account, as well as the guest account, after you authenticate with your password one more time. Now, once you get into the parental controls preference pane, you'll see quite a few different options for how to designate the usage of the computer for your child or the person using the account. You'll be able to designate which apps they're allowed to use, websites that they are allowed to visit, different type of content they can get from the iTunes and app stores, as well as times that they're actually allowed to use the computer and it will boot them off once that time has been met for the day. So you can set up bedtimes and duration times throughout the week and weekend their privacy settings, including their personal information that's available for the internet to use. And the other tab has a few extra items, including Siri, dictation, usage of printers, and whatnot. As mentioned, you can also do the same settings for your guest account for anyone else who might be using the computer, and you can see that all the settings are the same. You can also check the activity for any of these given accounts using the logs button, and don't forget to lock your changes once you are finished so that your child is good to go to use their account. Hope you found this helpful. We'll talk to you soon.